How did Jung pursue his images? We remember that his first words in the unconscious were, where are you? My soul, where are you? Then, my soul, who are you? He sees his soul as a child, a young maiden. And for close to a month, he wanders in the dark of his imagination. He later called this practice active imagination. In his last major work, Mysterium Conjunctionis, Jung describes the process. He, claim, he sees it as a bridge between the conscious and the unconscious. I've taken direct quotes from this passage that's in Collected Works 14 in order to suggest four steps to active imagination. You have them in the handout, I read them. First, and the quote begins, choose a dream or some other fantasy image and concentrate on it by simply catching hold of it and looking at it. Fix this image in the mind. Usually it will alter as the mere fact of contemplating it animates it. Secondly, a chain of fantasy ideas develops and gradually takes on a dramatic character. At first, it consists of projected figures and these images are observed like scenes in the theater. Remember, these are direct quotes from Mysterio Conjunctionis. The chain of fantasy ideas develops and gradually takes on a dramatic character. Thirdly, if the observer understands that it is his own drama that is being performed on this inner stage, he will take part in the play instead of just sitting in a theater. Lastly, fix the whole procedure in writing at the time of occurrence, for you will then have ocular evidence that will counteract tendency to self-deception. It's essential to note that these four steps must be done in a meditative state. Our conscious mind is relaxed, letting us enter the inner world of our imagination. We quiet ourselves, we let go of our worries, thoughts, preoccupations, and then once in this state, we choose an image, or better, we let the image choose us, and we hold on to it. Secondly, following the four suggested steps, we watch it take life, we put it on the stage of our imagination. Thirdly, we get up on the stage and take part in the play, in its story. Lastly, we write down what happened. This last step is crucial. Without it, we'll downplay the experience will not listen to the teaching. Jung tells us to write it down at the time of the occurrence. Otherwise we'll say, oh, it's just our imagination, but it is our imagination. And that's what's most important. Our active imaginations will give us teachings. The image will speak to us. It will surprise us with a lesson. But if we do not write it down, will forget both the experience and the lesson. Mm -hmm.